this is a video about how to make a slideshow video using Adobe Spark. So you'd sign in using your normal login, see the other video for that, and then it gives you the option to do various kinds of projects, and under them they tell what kind of thing they're doing. We're going to do a slideshow, which is a video here in a second. Um, you'll also see your old projects that you can restart and edit as you go along, so you don't have to finish a project. You can just kind of start it and then come back to it later. But in this case, we're going to start a new slideshow video. And it'll immediately ask you for a title, which is what you saw on the other file. It's just the title name. But it's usually um, history of uh, dogs. Who knows? Um, and then once you have given it your basic file name title, it will then say what kind of videos you're going to do. And it gives you some basic like structural options. And you kind of figure out which one is most similar to what your project is. In this case, I'm going to teach a lesson. So I'm going to click pick this one. And it will then set up a uh, basic format for you to fill out. And it'll start with this, here's how to get started video, which you can watch if it's the first time. And once you get it, like I said, it will give you a structure with some basic uh, file titles already. So you have a kind of implied structure going forward. Overview. Um, the first thing you do is you can start adding in a uh, bunch of stuff. So in this case, I'm just going to put the title of this uh, slideshow there. And uh, there it is. You can also then use this recording button to add a recording on top of this, which will play through the video. Uh, I won't be able to show it to you when I do the demo play of this, but it does because the I can't double record. But basically, this would record uh, whatever it is you say. So in this case, I'm just going to read that history of dogs. All right, and then when you actually played this, it would speak out the history of dogs that you read. All right, so then. After that, I'm going to show you how to do a photo insert. So I'm just going to click photo here. And then it brings up these options. Um, in this case, I already have a photo. So I'm just going to upload the photo I want. Uh, these allow you to search through stuff like your Google Drive or your uh, various other places you might find stuff. But I'm going to upload a photo. And in this case, I'm going to upload, say, uh, this one. So uh, you'll notice this image doesn't look right, so you kind of want to fix it. So up here is the adjustment, and I'm going to make it small enough to actually fit on the screen. All right, and then uh, you can, again, put a recording on top of an um, image, and you'll be able to see how long it takes, actually, with your recording. You can also redo the recordings over and over again, so if you didn't like the way you just said it, you can just redo it. Um, in this case, I'm not going to record over this image. And then once you have that, uh, you can start adding new things to it. If you say wanted to do a caption on this image, the way you would do that would be to go to layout and there's options. In this case, it's on full screen, but I could also do a split screen and then I could add some text over here. And then it'll end up looking like that. All right, I could also put a caption on the image, or I could title and text it. All right, and then you can obviously add other sorts of things. In this case, I'm going to add a video of uh, me petting my dog. And it will uh, start editing, uh, or start adding in this video. The nice thing about the videos is you can kind of choose either the entire video you made, or just you know some part of the video you made, depending on how you want to lay that out. Say I only wanted a little bit of it. Um, then I would just do that, and it'll only play those five seconds of the video. All right, and then you click Save, and it uploads your video, and then your video will show up in your slideshow, and it'll play through as a straight video um, once this thing is done loading up. And again, the image size is kind of jacked up, so you can click on the Zoom button, and you can uh, zoom it out or zoom it in so that it'll actually play in your video. Um, and again, you could put like a, you know, a caption on it or whatever it is you wanted so that there would be a uh, you know some identifier for what the video is um, so that will then sit over the image all right um, and then you can add more text and you now have a video all right and I could say that was history all right um, and so now you have your little basic video and you can say you want after this slide it turns out oh wait I want a different slide right after that you can add a new slide and then throw in whatever you want and 
then the nice thing is you can also decide like, oh wait, I want that there, I want that there, I want that there. So you can reorder everything really straightforwardly. And then the other things you can also do, you could set the theme differently. So say you liked uh, some other theme, you want to go mega theme in, I don't know, orange. Uh, it will then reshape the entirety of your slideshow uh, using this orange theme. Uh, and there's a bunch of those available. Uh, you can also resize the thing. Oh, I already showed you that. So you could do widescreen, which is what this is. You could do square, um, which I tend not to like because it's kind of awkward on a telephone or on video. So just leave it on widescreen usually. There's also music, which I can't stand, but uh, you can choose whatever music you want. Uh, you can check set the volume for your music or you can just turn the music off. And we'll go back to the layout. All right, so now you would have made a little slideshow. And then at any time you want, you can preview it. Like you could start from here, and you can say play from here. And it will then play out your video, and you can see how long everything took. And uh, you, the reader, the viewer of this, won't be able to hear the video of the, uh, the talking on the video because it won't double play. But um, that's how you see what it is you actually did. And anytime you want, like I said, you can just reorder stuff and then replay it to make sure it works fine. You can re-record anytime you feel like, and it'll rework. And then when you're done, you can either click the share button to get it out to uh, various uh, kind of homebrew websites, or more importantly for my class, you'll download the video as an MP4 onto uh, your web drives. And then as an MP4, you can then upload it onto YouTube. And as long as you have a Google account, you have a YouTube account. So I'm going to have my students just basically put this on their uh, school-based Google account. And therefore, they will uh, be able to send me just a link to the YouTube video, which makes it super easy to collect. And uh, then I can create it that way. Or if you're a teacher, obviously, you could uh, take that MP4 and put it into Schoology or put it into your own YouTube page. All right, so that's the basics of how to make a uh, Adobe Spark video.